Our learning target for today is I can compare and order two decimals to the thousands and represent comparisons using these symbols greater than, less than, or equals, 5.2b. Our vocabulary terms for today are compare numbers and order numbers. Compare numbers means to examine the differences between numbers, quantities, or values to decide if it is greater than, smaller than, or equal to another quantity. Order numbers means to put numbers in order from least to greatest or greatest to least. Some of you may have remember seeing symbols like these before. This one over here is indicating greater than. The picture down here shows eight is greater than three. This one is our equal to, which shows five is equal to five, so they are equivalent numbers, they are the same. And this one over there here is our less than, showing that two is less than seven. You need to line them up by the decimal point and then compare the numbers from left to right. So I'm going to show you a way that you can do this using a t-chart or an organizational chart. So let's start with this first number. We have a set of four numbers right here. Let's start with our first number. I'm going to grab my pen first. All right, so we have four and 321 thousandths. And you can draw a line. This line right here indicates the decimal point. Then we have four, 312 thousandths, four, and 390 thousandths, and three, and 12 thousandths. So I have these just organized in here with each number in between, but that's an easy way to see that my numbers are lined up pretty close together. So I start from the left and look over. What do I have that is the lowest number. Well, four, 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 all the same. Oh, I have a three down here. So this three indicates, because it's less than all these four, that this is going to be our lowest number. And we are ordering from least to greatest. So this is going to be our first number that we're gonna go ahead and write down. So it would be three. Remember to put our decimal place back in. And when you're ordering numbers, you would put a comma in between and you write the next lowest number. So now we can cross this one off and we go back to what we're looking at. So all these are fours. So the next thing we have to go is moving from left to right, so we can look at the next column. We have three, three, and three. Well, those are all the same, so we're gonna have to continue over to the left again to see what is the next lowest number. We have two, one, and nine. Out of two, one, and nine, what is gonna be our lowest number? One. This is our next one. So our next number is going to be four, 312 thousandths. We can go ahead and cross this one off because we've used it. Okay, now we're going to look for our next number again. Make sure we put our comma in here. We know that the fours are the same. We know that the threes are the same. Now we have, look here again. Well, we have a two and a nine. What's lower between a two and a nine? The two. So our next number is going to be four and 321 thousandths. And what is our largest number that we have left over? Four and 390 thousandths. Remember, this is a number that we can also write like this. Four and 39 hundredths. These are equivalent numbers right here. So that's how you can use a T-chart to organize your numbers a little bit easier, line them up with the decimal point right here where this line is, and then line up each number in the correct place value so that you can see, go one at a time to see what is gonna be your lowest and your greatest numbers. So let's practice using this information with comparing. So our first number is three and 692 thousandths. The circle right here is where we're going to put our symbol once we decide what it's going to be. And our second number is three and 697 thousandths. 
So we can line it up. Three, six, nine, two, and then three, six, nine, seven. Draw my line. All right, so threes are the same, sixes are the same, nines are the same, and now we have two and seven. So since this is the first number right here, we're going to do, remember on the video it said that the bigger side is always in the bigger number. So you would put your symbol in like this. This indicates that this number over here with our seven is larger than this number over here. Number two, seven and 216 thousands, our circle for our symbol, and then seven and 203 thousands. Let's go ahead and write it over here. Seven, 216 versus seven and 203. All right, so sevens are the same, twos are the same, and then we have one and we have a zero. So one is going to be larger, so we know that our larger number has the bigger end of the symbol, so we're going to put it like that. And then in number three and four, we're going to order from least to greatest again. So this one we can build our t-chart over here. If we go over here, I have a little bit more room. So our first number is 5.50. Go ahead and draw my line. Next number is going to be 5.631. And then 5 and 6.25. All right, so remember we're going from least to greatest, so we need to go ahead and check. Well, this is a five, 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 so those are all the same. Then we have five, six, and six. So our five is the lowest number out of these, so that's going to be our first number. So we're gonna do five point five four zero comma. All right, so that number's gone. So now we have to look at these two. We know our fives are the same, and well, we know these sixes are the same, so now we need to look here. We have a three and a two. Out of the three and the two, which is the lower number? The two. So five and 625 thousands, which leaves our remaining number, the greatest number, five and 631 thousands. And problem number four, we're going to again be ordering from least to greatest. So let's go ahead and write our numbers over here. Zero, which is our ones place. It's six, seven, five. Draw our line indicating our decimal. One, 529 of thousands. One, and 35 hundredths, and then 693 thousandths. So when we look at this, we see that each of these have three digits in their numbers, except for this one. This one only has two digits right here. But remember we talked about yesterday that having a zero doesn't change the value of the number, but it will help you kind of see that it lines up and it still has the same amount of numbers in there. So let's go ahead and take a look. So we have 0111, or excuse me, 0110. Which of these is going to be lower? The zeros or the ones? The zeros. So we have to look at from there. We just ignore these two numbers because we already know that those are higher. So now we're going to look at this one. We have a six and a six. Well, those are the same. So we have to go ahead and move over to the right again. Now we have a seven and a nine. Of the seven and the nine, which is gonna be the lower number? The seven. So our first number over here is going to be the zero and 675 thousandths. Because remember, we're ordering from least to greatest. So we can go ahead and cross this number out. Well, now we have one, one, and zero, so we know that this zero number is going to be our next least greatest. So 
zero and six hundred and ninety three thousandths and cross that one out. Now we need to pay attention to the two numbers in the middle. So we have a one and a one and we move over and we have a five and a three. Of the five and three, which is the smaller number? The three. So our next number is going to be one and 35 hundredths. And that leaves our last number, our greatest number, one and 529 thousandths. Any questions? If you do, this is a perfect time to discuss them with your teacher. Have a great day.